Um, you're starting to see that competitor. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. <laughs> Uh, wow. I, I would assume unplanned for Jalen Washington as he gets the uh, plate full of shaving cream here. In the last few innings and done a better job. So that's what we were hoping for. And he's hung in there and uh, we were able to get a big hit. Coach, talk about the adjustment your team has made at the plate. They hit a couple of home runs early, but then the boys started hitting the ball over the park. What would you tell them and what was their approach? Well, we're trying to slow down in the batter's box here and, and get better pitches to hit. They're, they've mixed in a lot of off-speed pitches, try to keep us off balance. So try to get them to slow down a little bit and use the whole field. Coach, thanks so much for the time. Best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you. It's tough sitting on the bench. I mean, every single game, I, want, I feel like I want to be out there playing and everything like that. I mean, uh, I mean, in high school and uh, in high school, everything. I... With Minnesota, John Anderson and Coach, I want to ask you about freshman left-hander Dalton Sawyer. This is first start of the season. He's been impressive. How long do you expect to go with him? Well, he can go. We'll, we'll let him go, you know, 75 pitches maybe if we'll stretch him out here a little bit. But, uh, you know, he's a guy that suffered because we lost those six games in April and uh, the canceled games in the bad weather. And uh, if we'd played some of those games, he'd probably be stretched out a little further. Coach, we're seeing a great pitching matchup right now between your pitcher and Ryan Hander. What adjustments do you think that your players could make at the plate against this good curveball well, pitcher? We've we got to be able to put three or four good at-bats together. And he's made some good pitches. Credit to him with guys on, on base or in scoring position. He's been able to execute that breaking ball. So... He's uh, made a difference with that breaking ball and uh, kept us from uh, putting some good at-bats together. Coach, thank you so much. It seems like your team is nice and loose in the dugout behind you. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Coach. <laughs> They're giving out shaves in that dugout right now for the Gophers. <laughs> Feels uh, like a like an airport today. Um, this launching pad from from center field to right field, fast turf, and uh, you know a lot of runs are being scored. Coach, pitching wise, Nick Gallagher hasn't had his best stuff, but he's out there competing. What does he have to do, and how long of a leash you're going to have for your ace? Well, he's had good command. He's been working ahead in the count, uh, which is good to see. But he doesn't have his best fastball today. The velocity's down. It's been up a little bit. He got nickel and dimed a little bit early, and then uh, they started finding some barrels. It's going to be a fairly fairly quick trigger from here on out uh, with Nick. Hopefully he can get us another one. Good luck, Coach. And by the way, turn around and see what your players are doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's creativity right there. There has, to, there has to be an engineer in that group right there. Oh, that may be the most unique rally cap I've ever seen. Joined by head coach Dan Hartlub and his team behind him with a little bit of uh, extracurricular activity coach. It's always good to see your kids uh, are really uptight and tense about this game this afternoon. Yeah, they're always back there messing around. <laughs> I, I keep telling them I want some of them to do something so they're actually on the field getting on the camera. Well, he's competing. You're right. You know, Dalton's been a midweek starter for us a few times. And, uh, uh, you know, he just needs to continue to compete and use all of his stuff, to, you know, using that change up along with his fastball. Coach, his pitch count is getting up. You guys have played a lot of baseball this week and hope to play some more, obviously, to today and into tomorrow. How do you manage your bullpen in these type of situations? Well, our bullpen's still in pretty good shape out there, but, uh, you know, Mossy's doing all right, so we're going to keep rolling with him right here. Uh, you've got squirt guns going pretty strong behind you. I'm sure you're aware of that. <laughs> and credit to Jake Brobst, who has barely cracked a smile while he guards the battle axe being sprayed by squirt guns. Yeah, well, he's tough. That's his M.O. He's got the beard. He's got the axe. You know, he's got it all working for him. <laughs> it's it's a shame to see your guys are really stressed out by this elimination game, Coach. <laughs> no, this is a great game, but, you know, our guys have learned to enjoy, you know, grinding it out and competing. All right, we'll go get Jake a towel. We appreciate the time. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks. Was in some crucial situations, he was still able to make his pitch and, and have some damage control. So, typical Joey, where he's in control of the game. It's nice that your players, coach, are so cognizant of when you're on camera that they're able to pose behind you as they are right now. Are they doing it again? They're doing it again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And out of 
play. I just like the fact that the skit's continuing long after the interview is over. I mean, if you're going to commit to something, they're committed. Commit all the way. Mom. It's part of Jake Boss Jr., and you've got to be very encouraged by what you've seen from your left-hander Cam View to start this game, Coach. Yeah, so far so good. Cam's really thrown well, uh, getting ahead in the strike zone. Uh, he's able to locate uh, both halves of the plate, and uh, uh, yeah, he's thrown well for us. Coach, offensively, you start off a little bit slow with the first two batters, but then made some major adjustments, had multiple extra base hits. What kind of adjustments do you, do you guys have to continue to stay with your foot on the gas pedal against Schwarm? Well, we can't get ourselves out. You know, I mean, he's going to locate that breaking ball and, and try to get us to chase uh, balls out of the strike zone. And, uh, you know, he's, you know, against a guy with that kind of ability, you can't do that. you got to be able to, to hit balls that you can hit or swing at balls that you can hit hard. And... Uh well that you know we've asked some guys to come in and fill some spots there in that starting rotation and it's you know we say get us three and we'll be happy because i like what our pen's doing but the fact that he went out there and got us five i think that's encouraging as we move into that uh, postseason because you know the way that tournament is formatted this year you got to win a lot more games so like it coach this is scott we know senior day is special to every coach in every program but it's doubly special for you today as you see your son casey celebrate his career here at indiana well we did a better job that inning of uh hitting an advantage counts early in the game the first two innings we swung at some pitches out of the zone when we had advantage counts uh, in that inning, we did a great job of uh, being very selective, coming up with some big hits, and then with two outs, we did some damage. Well, Coach, you talk about those advantage accounts that uh, accounts for the batters. How about your pitcher and how he's kind of settled in so far in this game? Well, Cirillo's done a great job. Uh, obviously, when you walk the leadoff man, you're not very happy, and then after that, he's kind of settled in. Uh, he's had more advantage counts than we've had in a couple games, and you know, holding them to zero. So come up some key pitches, and he's really competing well. Thanks, Coach. By the way, some of the guys are having some fun behind you, so you may want to discipline them a little bit. <laughs> oh, uh, don't worry, I'll get them. Believe me. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Both guys were throwing well, changing speeds in the zone, and yeah, I think we've struck some balls hard, and hopefully if we keep doing that, they'll find some holes. So, uh, but yeah, I think both both pitchers are doing a good job. Coach, this is Scott. Christian Morris has been on the mound. He's got his breaking ball working well, but what's he done well for you all year? Um, just competed in the strike zone. I mean, he's a strike thrower. Um, you know, doesn't have the high strikeout total, but he does a good job of pounding the zone and making his you know defensive guys make plays behind him. Speaking of making plays behind you, the entire team is working behind well, I, you right now. I was going to ask you guys. I brought a cup of water with me tonight. Should I? I think you Absolutely. should. Absolutely. All right, let's yeah. do it. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. Good luck All the rest right. of the way. <laughs> Here, the decision to keep Canzone in there, and that proved to be fruitful. He got the single. Good decision to pinch run and got the run home. Yeah, obviously he's struggling today, but uh, he gives such a good at bat. And we're able to get three at bats out of him, a walk and a base hit, and uh, you know both of those run runners on base ended up scoring. It was a fielder's choice that scored Foppy after his you know leadoff walk. But uh, big part of our offense. Uh, sorry to see him go, but obviously you guys could see where he was at today. Well, coach, where Feldner is right now, he's been pretty dominant in this game. Kind of settled in after some early struggles. What do you see from him, and how much longer will he be out there? Well, Ryan's doing good. I think he's in control of himself. He's able to hit with his slider and his changeup to go along with his good fastball. As long as he's able to continue doing that, he is going to be. He's going to be tough on their hitters. We got Seth Kinker out there in the bullpen, though. So, uh, you, you, like I said before, hey, we're going to see him at some point today. All right, Coach. Good luck. Thank you. And also a shout out there to reliever Kyle Mahalik with a fake headset next to him. <laughs>